In this lecture, let's learn about the arithmetic operators in JavaScript. Arithmetic operators are also called as math operators. So we are already familiar with some of the math operators from our school days like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, etc. Here in the table, you can see that we have this addition operator, which is represented by plus the subtraction operator, which is represented by minus. We have multiplication operator represented by asterisk and we have division operator, which is represented by slash. Apart from these four, we also have modulus operator and exponentiation operator. The modulus operator, it gives you the reminder of the division of two numbers. For example, let's say we are trying to use this modulus operator on X and Y. So the value of X is nine and value of Y is two. Now, when we divide nine by two, the remainder will be one. So that one will be returned by this modulus operator. In the same way, we also have this exponentiation operator, which basically gives you the result of X to the power Y. So for example, let's say X is two and Y is three. So this exponentiation operator, these two asterisks, it is going to return you the result of two to the power three. That means the result will be eight. And always remember that an operator will always return a value. When you use plus operator on two operands, it is going to return you a value. It is going to return a result. So an operator in JavaScript is always going to return a value. Let's talk about these operators in detail with some practical examples. Here, let's create a variable X. Let's say X is 10 and let's create a variable Y and let's say Y is 20 or two. Okay. Now we already know about the plus operator, the addition operator. So here let's first write console.log statement. And when I say X plus Y, it is going to give us the sum of the value stored in variable X and the value stored in variable Y. So if I save the changes, the result should be 12 because 10 plus two is 12. In the same way, we have the subtraction operator, which is represented by this hyphen. So this minus sign, and it is going to give us the result of the subtraction of Y from X. So in this case, it should be 10 minus two, which is eight, as you can see. Then we have multiplication operator, which we represent by an asterisk like this. And it is going to give us the result of the multiplication of 10 and two. In this case, the result should be 20. If I save the changes, you will see 20 is the result. Then we have the division operator. So we represent it by a slash and it gives us the division of 10 by two. So it is going to give us the result of dividing X by Y. So in this case, when we divide 10 by two, the result should be five. If I save the changes, you see five is logged here. So the result of X divided by Y will be five. Now we have modulus operator, which is represented by percentage. And this modulus operator, it is going to give us the remainder when we divide X by Y. Here, when we divide 10 by two, the remainder will be zero. So if I save the changes, you will see zero is logged here. But if I change it to 11, in that case, the remainder will be one. If I save the changes, you'll see the result is one. So it basically gives you the remainder of the division of two numbers. And then we also have the exponentiation operator, which we represent by two asterisks like this. And it is going to give you the result of power of X by Y. So in this case, it will give you the result of the power of 11 by so square of 11. So in this case, the result should be 121. And that's what you will see here. So these are six basic arithmetic operators. Now let's say X is nine and let's say Y is one divided by two. In this case, let's see what's the result of X exponentiation Y. If I save the changes, you see in this case, the result is three. So here, when we say nine exponentiation one by two, we are basically calculating the square root of nine. When we change it to two, in this case, it is going to give us the square of nine. But if we say one by two, it is going to give us the square root of nine. So these are very simple operators. Now let's try to use multiple operators in a single statement. So let me remove all these console.log statements 
and here in this console.log statement let's say 10 plus 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 4 minus 10 something like this so here we are using multiple operators in the same line now here this calculation will not happen from left to right okay if we do the calculation from left to right in that case 10 plus 2 will be 12 and the modulus of 12 and 3 will be 0 because when you divide 12 by 3 the remainder will be 0 right so this expression will return 0 if we multiply 0 to 4 the result will be 0 and 0 minus 10 the result will be minus 10 but if I save the changes you won't see minus 10 as the result that's because there is something called as operator precedence some operators are executed first before the other operator for example this multiplication has higher operator precedence let me change it to division instead of modulus so this division and this multiplication it has same operator precedence so when two operators have same operator precedence in that case the associativity come into picture and for division and multiplication the associativity is from left to right okay then this plus and minus they have lower operator precedence than multiplication and division so these two operators will be evaluated after multiplication and division so here the expression will be evaluated in this way so division and multiplication has same operator precedence and it has higher operator precedence than plus and minus so in this case either this expression or this expression will be evaluated first now here since both division and multiplication has same operator precedence here associativity will come into picture and for both division and multiplication the associativity is from left to right so this expression is coming in the left so first this will be executed so first this expression will be executed and then the result of this expression will be multiplied by 4 and then we will have plus and minus so both plus and minus have same operator precedence so again the associativity of the plus and minus operator will be checked and the associativity of plus and minus is from left to right so again first this 10 it will be added to the result of this expression and whatever will be the result of this operation from that 10 will be subtracted and the result will be 8 okay now here we will talk about operator precedence and operator associativity in great detail in one of the lectures of this course so let's not worry about that right now here I just want to mention that we can use multiple operators in the same expression now the next question is here we are using operators on numeric values so arithmetic operators should be used on a numeric value but what if we use arithmetic operators on non numeric values so for example let's say I write this console.log statement and there I say 10 so here this 10 it is a string value because I'm wrapping it within single quotes so when we wrap in numeric value within single quotes or double quotes it is treated as a string value to that string value if I try to add 5 what will be the result in this case in this case whenever you use plus on an operand which is a string value so in this example this first operand it is a string value so whenever you use plus operator and one of its operand is a string value in that case what it will do is it will also convert the second operand to a string value if it is not already a string so in this case what javascript will do is javascript will do type coercion so here it will be like this string 10 plus this 5 will be type coerced to a string value by javascript so this one will be converted to a string value 5 and when you use plus operator on two strings it basically merges that string it concatenates that string so here the result will be 105 okay if you use plus operator on two strings so for example hello and then here let's say world so since we are using plus operator on two string values it is going to merge that string into a single string value so here the result will be hello world here this plus operator is merging these two strings into a single string it is concatenating them so if I save the changes you see the result is hello world and same thing is happening here so this is a string value 
and this is a string value. So both of these strings are merged together into a single string value. So whenever you use plus operator on a string, then the second operand, if it is not already a string, it will be converted to a string. For example, if I try to use this plus operator on a string value and a boolean value, let's say true, here also, since one of its operand is a string value, this plus operator will convert the second operand also into a string value. So this true now, it will be converted to a string true. So it will be like hello plus true. So in that case, what will be the result? It will be hello true. Let's save the changes and you will see the result is hello true. So this plus operator, if one of its operand is a string value and the second operand is not a string value, then first it will type coerce that operand to a string value and then it will concatenate those two strings. Here, if I change the order, so for example, if let's say the first value is a non-string value and the second value is a string value, in that case also the same thing will happen. So in this case also, this true will be converted to string and to that string, this string value will be concatenated. If I save the changes, now the result should be true hello. So I hope this point is clear. So this is about the plus operator. Now what about other arithmetic operators? What will happen if I use an arithmetic operator on non-numeric value? For example, let's say if I say 2 multiplied by this string value. Now apart from this plus operator, all other arithmetic operators only work with numbers. So, if you use an arithmetic operator on a non-numeric value, it will try to convert that value into a number type and then it will try to perform the arithmetic operation. Here, this multiplication operator, it will try to convert this string hello into a number type and then it will try to perform this operation. But this hello cannot be converted to a number type. If you try to convert this value to a number type, it is going to return NAN. So in this case, the expression will be 2 multiplied by NAN because here first JavaScript will try to convert this string value to a number type. This string value cannot be converted to a number type. So it will be converted to NAN, which we have already learned about. So this NAN is basically belongs to number data type and it means not a number. And whenever you try to perform an arithmetic operation with NAN, it is always going to return NAN. Here we are trying to perform the multiplication of NAN with this number 2. So the result will be NAN. If we try to subtract this NAN from a numeric value, then the result also will be NAN. So whenever you try to perform any arithmetic operation with NAN, the result will be NAN. If I save the changes, you will see that the result of this expression is NAN. But here, let me copy this line. If this string value can be converted to a number type, for example, here if I use 23, so this string value can be converted to a number type. So JavaScript will type coerce this string 23 into number 23 and then this operation will happen. So here the expression will look something like this 2 multiplied by 23 and the result of this expression will be returned. So if I save the changes, it should return 46. And same is true for other arithmetic operators also. If I use minus here, the same thing will happen. If I save the changes, you see, when we try to use this minus operator on a string value which cannot be converted to a number type, it will be converted to NAN. So 2 minus NAN, the result will be NAN, as you can see here. And in this case, this 23 will be converted to number type and 2 minus 23 will be minus 21. So in case of plus operator, if we use it with a string value, then what it will do is it will first convert a non-string value to a string value and then it will perform the operation. But in case of other operators like minus, multiplication, division, modulus, etc., it will first try to convert the non-numeric value into a number type and then it will try to perform the operation. Now here, what about the Boolean type? So for example, let's say console.log and let's say I want to add 2 plus what will be the result in this case? Well, in this case also, this true will be converted to number type. So when this true will be converted to number type, 
the result of that will be 1. So true is converted to 1 and false gets converted to 0. So in this case, the result will be 2 plus 1, which is 3. If I save the changes, the result is 3. But if I say 2 plus false, false gets converted to 0. So in this case, the result should be 2. Now let's take another example. So let's say console.log 2 plus 3 plus let's say hello. What do you think will be the result of this expression? And also, let me copy this one. And let me paste it here. And here, let's say hello plus 2 plus 3. So what will be the result of these two expressions? In this case, remember that for the plus operator, the associativity is from left to right. So here, the evaluation will start from left to right. And when the evaluation will start from left to right, this first plus operator is operating on two numbers. So this 2 is a number and 3 is a number. So the result of this operation will be 5. Right. And then the second operator will operate on the result of this expression and this string value. So the result of this expression is 5. And the second operator will operate on 5 and hello. This string value. So in this case, the result will be 5 hello. So the result will be a string value. 5 hello. But in this case, again, since the operator associativity for this plus operator is from left to right, the operation will start from left to right. So this first plus operator will operate on this string value hello and this numeric value 2. And since one of its operand is a string value, it will convert the non-string value also to a string value. So here the expression will be hello plus it will convert 2 to string value. Okay, so the result of this hello and 2 will be hello 2 and that result will also be a string value. So again, this second operator, when it will operate on the result of this string and this number, it will convert this number also to a string value. Okay, let me actually write it. So here, the result will be hello 2, which will be a string value plus 3. Now in this case, this 3 will be converted to string. So the result will be hello 23. If I save the changes, that's what you will see. Okay, so in this lecture, we covered some basic concepts related to arithmetic operators in JavaScript. We also called arithmetic operators as math operators. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.